Just five days until the all-important midterm elections, more than 25 million people have already voted. That tops the total number of early ballots in 2014. With control of Congress up for grabs, both sides are now pulling out all the stops. And that means the big names are out on the campaign trail. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Perhaps, Mary, the biggest name of them all is out there today. Oprah? Hey. Oprah, Cecilia, she is making an appearance out on the campaign trail in what could be a history-making governor's race. Remember, while there is so much focus being paid to what happens here on Capitol Hill, there are 36 governor races that could reshape the political landscape. With the final countdown on, the campaign trail is seeing a surge of star power. That's Not only democracy along. depends on it, <laughs> our country depends upon it, so vote, 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 vote. vote. Oprah hitting the trail in the contentious, closely watched race for Georgia's governor. Get out and vote early. Actor Will Ferrell rallying canvassers there over the weekend. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. The race could make history as Democrat Stacey Abrams hopes to become the nation's first female African American governor. The best way to win is to overwhelm the system with our democracy. Abrams facing off against Trump-backed Republican Brian Kemp. But Abrams is raising concern over voting access in her state. She says Kemp has used his position as Georgia's Secretary of State to make it more difficult for minorities to vote. I don't question his heart. I do question the results. Regardless of his intent, the result is that racial bias has been in injected into our system. And that undermines confidence in our democracy. But Kemp staunchly denies the allegations, insisting he's simply enforcing current law. This farce about voter suppression and people being held up from being on the rolls and being able to vote is absolutely not true. Now, Oprah isn't the only big name down in Georgia today. Vice President Pence will be there campaigning for Brian Kemp, and the president, Cecilia, will be there rallying his supporters on Sunday. He certainly will, Mary, and one of the X factors in this race for both sides could end up being women, both those running and those who are voting. Yes, Cecilia, we haven't really seen anything like this before. A record number of women running. You have a, more than a quarter of all candidates are women, more than 80 women of color, many of them first-time candidates. Many of them say they were inspired to run in direct response to Donald Trump. All right, thanks, Mary. And we are down to the wire. Be sure to join us for full coverage on election night. George is anchoring, joined by our whole political team. I'll be right there, too, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, right here on ABC. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.